Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with a Technical Trader. It's Thursday night, the 26th of May. This is the chart of, of the day. And um, still a lot of bullish charts, a lot of stocks breaking out. Uh, we'll cover some of the shorts this weekend, but for tonight, still quite a few longs to take a look at. Here's Echelon Pharmaceuticals, ACHN. You'll see that this stock was in a beautiful rising channel from the uh, two and a half range up to about seven and a half, more than tripling early part of this year. Before the pullback in April and early May, got it all the way back down about four, um, 30 or 40. Spiked up, flagged, or coiled in here. And then it's been moving steadily in the last week and a half, breaking back out across the declining tops line here, lateral price resistance there and there, as well as taking out the 50 day moving average today with a spike up of 68 cents or 11%. <clears throat> on 1.3 million shares and it looks like we have reestablished a trend and we'll at least retest the high shortly at around 7 uh, 50 and but my targets up around 9 and for the um, swing trade on ACHN big day today for vocal tech call which is um, very volatile stock as you can see and last a year ago in July and August exploded from 6 all the way up to the near 40 range in, a, in just a month or so now after coming back down and basing out for a better part of this year. Today it popped $3.30 or 15.2%. Now it's thinly traded, only traded 159,000 shares, so it's got to be watched carefully. But if today was a breakout, and we're going to see an accelerated move here, the targets are 29 and 33 for CAWL. <coughs> Cubist, continuing to show you this because I love the way it acts. This price volume surge breakaway gap triggered this big move, which has taken it now from around 28 and a half to over 39 today in the last couple months. But today's action is up $1.53 or 4% on more than 5 million shares. Second heaviest volume in about five weeks. Could lead to more upside. I'm looking for 43 and a half, 44 for CBST. Also a big day today for clean diesel technology, CDTI, which exploded across its declining top line of the last six, seven, eight months. And broke with a big breakaway gap. It gapped up above the 21 and 50 day moving average and across lateral price resistance, then blew through the declining tops line and ran all the way up to key overhead resistance at around the um, 865 area, which is my target today. Got one penny of that. As you can see, lateral price resistance here and backed off. But with any kind of follow through, we can see the stock up towards 11, 11 and a half, and that's our trading target for CDTI short term. Should it get the follow through? CKSW clicks off is moving nicely after the big reversal and, and spike four days ago. It's been following through. At this point, I'm looking for more upside and a move up to around the $12 range, my short term trading target for Clicksoft. Portfolio position in our swing trade portfolio, CSII cardiovascular, has been moving steadily higher since the 10 3 quarter range about three weeks ago. You can see it's Reach 1572 today and appears to be even higher ahead with strong volume and technical surging here. Looking for a move to the top of the long term channel up around 20 for CSII going forward. DUSA, DUSA, also a swing trade pick recently. Broke out yesterday, a bit of a fall through today, but I'm looking for a move that reaches about the 8.5 range for DUSA short term. Big day for Emergent Biosolutions as a huge contract was announced with the government for, I think it was anthrax uh, vaccinations. But the key move to today was that it exploded through the January, March, and April highs, got up to 26.41 before backing off. Nevertheless, up 3.33 or 15.5% today on huge 3.4 million shares. Could be a trigger. And since this one is substantially higher, I'm looking for high 20s around 28 or 9 on this one. EGHT made a significant move today as it popped across the pre-lateral resistance there with 3.3 million shares up 33 cents or 10.3 percent. At the very minimum, I'm looking for more upside 385.4 range, but on a longer term basis, I'm going to redraw the channel lines here and give you a target at the top of that channel up around 5, 5 and a quarter. Elon, ELN, which has been moving nicely of late and bro broke through key lateral price resistance here, backed off to retest and blew through it again yesterday. Retested this morning and came on again to close strongly near the highs for the day um, on 4.4 million shares. This one looks like it wants to go up towards 10.5, my short term target. 
and the media target around 11 and a half, 12. Glue Mobile, very nice day today as well. Uh, yesterday we highlighted it as, a, as one of our trades of the day. It broke out today. It followed through up another 27 cents. Reaching as high as 526, my target was five and a quarter, so we tagged that today and backed off, but still up 5.62%. I'm more than 10.7 million shares today. That's the heaviest volume traded this year and the heaviest volume in the history of the company since it's gone public. So excellent action there. Would not be surprised to see a trend up towards the $7 range at the top of the channel up in that zone. IMOS had a big day today. Broke out of a uh, two-month-long coil. Yesterday it popped. Today it extended through with a big sur surge on the heaviest volume this year. And um, although it has reached a lateral price resistance level, I look looking at the long-term channel top, I believe the stock could be 19 or 20 and could double over the next intermediate phase. But let's first look at a target around 13, 13 and a half range for a short-term target. Nice follow-through day for Krispy Kreme, up another dollar at 12.7 percent, 4.8 million shares today. After the breakaway two-day run and the pullback yesterday, boom, popped again. Looking for a move to around 9 and 3 quarters, 10 short-term. Up next is Kpasa QPSA. Nice snapback today. Jumped to dollar twenty to close at eight. Seventeen point six percent at two point two million shares. After the pop last week and this four day pullback held the fifty period moving average and formed a flag. It broke out of that flag to close right after the declining top line. I'm looking for a take out of that and I move up to test the nine and a half range short term. SQNS Sequans is acting great after this big two-day pop and pullback yesterday. It bounced again today up $1.57 or 13 percent. Three and a quarter million traded. It's forming a little wedge here. It looks like it could pop out of that wedge and run some more. I'm looking for 16, 16 and a half short term on SQNS. And lastly today is Zag, which surprised with a big move today, jumping 94 cents or 10.5 percent on nearly 2.2 million. The volume was the heaviest in about three and a half weeks. Broke out of this forming wedge of source here. This declining top line defines that wedge. We broke out today. Should test and maybe take out the 1060 area as early as tomorrow. My short-term target, 11.5. And that's it for tonight and this week. We'll talk to you Monday night. Bye-bye.